Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be replacing the battery in this Apple MacBook Pro A1989. We'll start by removing all of the screws holding the back cover on. To lift up the back cover, we'll use a little suction cup tool and then we'll be able to squeeze our guitar pick opening tool in the gap, work our way around to pop up the two clips that are in the middle on the left and right hand side of the MacBook. Now that we're inside the MacBook, the first thing that we'll do is remove the black plastic cover that hides the battery connectors. We'll remove the flex cable that connects the motherboard to the battery. And then we'll undo the large screw and the two smaller ones. Now we'll remove the touchpad flex cable The connector pops off by prying up on an angle. The battery is held in by strong adhesive, so the best way to remove this is by using a plastic scraper and slowly and carefully working our way underneath the battery. You can start by loosening the adhesive on the left and right hand side of the battery, but don't attempt to do the middle of the battery until we remove the touchpad. Now we'll remove the touchpad so we can remove the middle of the battery from the MacBook. To remove the touchpad, we remove the screws around each side. We have to be careful not to mix up the screws as there's two different sizes that are used here. Now that the touchpad's out, we can go ahead and remove the middle of the battery from the MacBook chassis. We have to remove all of the leftover adhesive from the chassis of the MacBook before we can stick the new battery down. To do this, I'm using a scraper tool with some isopropyl alcohol to help remove the sticky adhesive from the chassis. I'd be careful here not to put too much pressure on the chassis as you don't want to crack the LCD screen which is just on the other side. We'll get our new battery out of its packet and we'll remove the plastic that's covering the adhesive on the battery so we can insert it into the MacBook. Once the battery has been aligned correctly, we can push it down on we can push down on the battery and remove the top plastic covering the battery. 
There's quite a bit of dirt and debris underneath where the touch pad goes. So using a bit of isopropyl alcohol and a cleaning brush, we're gonna scrub all of this out before putting the touch pad back in. The touchpad's quite sloppy when it sits in its uh, little holder and it can actually be moved around for some unknown reason. I think this is a design flaw, but it's been like this for years on MacBooks, so I can't see Apple changing it anytime soon. To combat this issue, I like to put all of the screws in, but not completely tighten them so I can still adjust the positioning of the touchpad. Now that the screws are just sitting in, I like to align the touchpad, put some adhesive tape over it so it can't move out of position, then flip the MacBook back over and tighten the screws to lock it in place. We can go ahead and remove the tape. I like to check that the click is working properly on the touchpad once it's been reinstalled. Now we'll go ahead and put the flex cable back onto the motherboard. It just clicks in like Lego once aligned correctly. Now we'll screw in the battery connector. Three screws go back in. And the new battery didn't come with the flex cable. So we'll remove that from the old battery and insert it into the connectors. I like to give both of the fans a little clean out, as well as any dust that's inside the unit, seeing as how we're in here anyway. I recommend holding the cooling fans so they can't move, as we don't want any current to be generated and sent back to the main board. Now we can go ahead and put the back cover back on with all of the screws. and we'll give the MacBook a final wipe over as it's quite dirty.
And that's it, we've done it. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Please feel free to buy me a coffee using the link down in the description. And we'll see you next time. Take care.